Hi, this is Muji Patla. Uh, today, uh, second day, and the third, second day of mine, and third day of this exhibition uh, happening in uh, World Trade Center, ZX2018. Uh, so today I happen to meet uh, so many, uh, uh, many of, uh, most of the stall people and I could uh, talk to them, I could understand from the various programs they are having and the doubts which I had yesterday, most of it got answered. But still uh, the problem of uh, career uh, uh, set setup, the kind of uh, assistance these universities and uh, uh, educational programs allowing students to get their own uh, uh, profession by themselves or maybe uh, an assistance to uh, get into uh, premium uh, uh, companies are not there and that is a matter of worry and that's a, prog a problem also. Hello guys, my name is Rami, I'm from the Canadian University. Uh, when I first started my first year, it was a little bit hard because, uh, you know, going to a whole another life, university life, bigger life, bigger opportunities. I chose CUD because uh, the small is really uh, good, plus it's small, so more people know, old people know each other, and old people are... Uh, are uh, cooperative with each other, they're all nice, they're, they're all good, and that's it. Thank you. Hello, my name is Ali, I'm from University of Dubai. I'm a student uh, studying Finance and Business Administration. I'm a senior. Uh, University of Dubai is offering three kinds of programs for a uh, bachelor degree, which is the business administration, college of IT, and uh, college of engineering, which is electrical engineering. For uh, masters, we do have uh, money laundering for MBA and general, general uh, MBA. And we have also LLM, which is for law. We also have uh, PhD degrees. B, welcome to University of Dubai. Hello, my name is Shahriya and I am the marketing executive here in RAC Medical and Health Sciences University. Uh, RAC Medical and Health Sciences University is an approved university in Rasul Khaimah, United Arab Emirates. Currently, we are offering four undergraduate medical programs, uh, medicine, dentistry, nursing and pharmacy. Our very unique points in our university is that we are approved and accredited by Ministry of Higher Education of UAE and we have affiliated hospitals, government hospitals, 200 bedded hospitals with the attached facility where you can do your internship. Uh, UAE is a very growing market uh, where you can finish your degree and after just one year of internship you can start doing your job or you can have your own business for example in the dentistry or in the pharmacy department. Uh, RAC Medical and Health University started in 2007 and now we are celebrating our 10th year. Uh, we wish you all the best for your future career. Thank you. I'm Ali Al Hashimi, a faculty member of Ajman University. Uh, we are the first private school in GCC countries. We have been in the country for more than 30 years. We have 72,000 students from different countries. Welcome to our university. Thank you. Hashim, I'm a student from University of Wollongong, Sri University in Dubai. Uh, I'm doing uh, electrical engineering. This is my third year. Uh, well, the University of Wollongong provides us with a lot of uh, things, like we have a lot of uh, fan activities, we have a lot of uh, education activities, career fair, trade show. So, 88% um, percentage of our university graduates uh, are employed right now. Have they finished within one year uh, for electrical and engineering students? I can help you with that. My engineering, um, the only thing I learned from engineering 
there's a lot of stuff but the only basic stuff how to manage time how to satisfy the budget the university gave you for one uh, for a project for your thesis project for there is like a subject called 250 gives you a project within 900 dirhams budget 350 within one year 2000 uh, dirhams budget uh, learns how to save time manage your time uh, how to think how to be creative how to be innovative um, well, the only thing I can tell you right now is uni life is much way better than high school life. And if you're interested in joining our university, if you're interested in joining any time, any any type of university, I prefer for you, for all the bright students in um, schools, I prefer engineering because engineering is way much better, way much fun. If you get the hang of it, if you know how to save time, if you're interested, you can visit our um, university website www.uwd.com and see you soon and good luck with your life. So, good afternoon, my name is Praveen. Uh, I'm sales manager at Emirates Driving Institute. Uh, how we are different from any other institute in the UAE? Uh, well, uh, we are the oldest and one of the largest institute in uh, driving institute in the UAE. Uh, we are uh, uh, given an award by the RTA as seven star rating for the best quality service in our uh, driving institution. And we are also uh, affiliated with IAM, IMI, and AAA uh, associations of uh, UK. Uh, we are uh, having several awards from the government and non-government uh, institutions. And uh, our main vision uh, is to create road safety awareness among all the drivers uh, of the UAE. Thank you. Hi friends, how are you? Myself Farhan, I am working as a marketing manager of LearnTech Edu Solutions and uh, we are providing career guidance and admission assistance towards India and abroad for the students, those who want to pursue their higher education in India and abroad and as well as in Dubai. So we consult with the campuses, we consult with the students and give them the right options so they can go with the right opportunity which is available in the market and the job oriented programs like uh, BSc Biotechnology, Food Technology and there are lots of options we are offering. You can come to our stall and go through us. Thank you. Hello, my name is Mariam. I'm studying BA Honors of Applied Psychology in Amity University, Dubai. Hi, my name is Mushfik. I'm doing my Master's in Business in Amity, Dubai. Yes, I'd like to uh, say one special thing about Amity would be the campus itself. We have a very new campus and it's, um, it's very pleasant to be in the campus itself. And um, I love the sports complex to be specific because I'm a sports person and I play badminton for the team. Thank you so much. I, the most thing I like about the campus is the facilities they provide. As she said about the sports facilities, we have a big football ground and we have an indoor complex. That's the main thing I like about the university. And we have students from different nationalities also. Hey everyone, my name is John Carter from the Emirates Academy of Hospitality Management. I'll be graduating in July. Uh, one of the fascinating things about the Academy is that it's a boutique hospitality school that also offers business management. Um, and their relationship with my professors is very unique because of how small it is and the open door policy that the school offers. And my focus in the industry is food and beverage. Hope to see you at the Academy. Obvious people, the students' community, especially, and the parents, uh, through them, uh, expects uh, kind of uh, support and guidance uh, for the students to have a proper uh, lifestyle after their uh, uh, studies. 
So these institutes must be in a position to allow uh, students to set up that. Uh, but the problem here is, even though I, uh, even if I visited so many stalls, uh, many of the places, uh, the faculty is uh, not ready to come forward and talk about uh, their programs. Uh, it, it was students who are forced to come in front and talk to me. Uh, that's not a good criteria because faculty is uh, someone uh, who is supposed to uh, explain like how because they are the people who are running the show in the classroom. Uh, they could have come and they could have explained uh, what is happening in their institute and how they are helping uh, students. Obviously students have their say how they are feeling about the institute and but most of the time the students will be a bit afraid uh, to tell any negative thing about the institute in front of this faculty and the management. Uh, but management could have uh, uh, allowed a faculty to talk, even if a faculty is not confident enough uh, to come in front and uh, talk to uh, the people like me, uh, like who, uh, who is into this education and uh, helping students to find the right course and right university for their benefit and uh, they should feel worth of uh, having uh, such a good course from that institute so this is the second day of mine and uh, last day of this uh, exhibition GTEx uh, 2018 is concluding here uh, hope GTEx 2019 will see uh, some good universities or the universities which are represented today uh, this year will get uh, upgraded to all new level and uh, uh, for the benefit of uh, students and their, and their parents and that will uh, cause some good uh, movements in the society and help students to have a good lifestyle uh, way of living. Thank you.